Extinction Rebellion is a non-violent, civil disobedience activist movement demanding that governments declare a climate and ecological emergency in response to the risk posed to our planet by climate change. Their demands are simple. 1. Tell the truth. 2. Act now. And 3. Go beyond politics. Through engaging members of society via direct radical activism, XR constructs a strong narrative calling for urgent change. Extinction Rebellion movements have been prevalent across the globe. Although the movement has been strongest in Western countries such as throughout Europe, the focus of Extinction Rebellion's movement is highlighting the urgency of the climate crisis, which can be seen across the world in different ways and at different scales. From the over-exploitation of natural resources to contesting societal structures, XR demonstrates a grassroots approach for rebelling for change. Exploring justice, transformations, and sustainability is key to understanding the Extinction Rebellion mission. Justice is an integral part of Extinction Rebellion's motives. Extinction Rebellion acknowledges that power at the decision-making level is currently insufficient to prompt any meaningful change. Political elites with monetary interests grounded within capitalist ideologies are allowing ecological degradation to happen as it aligns with their interests. The Citizens' Assembly on Climate and Ecological Justice is proposed by Extinction Rebellion, made up of randomly selected people representing a cross-section of society. Its members would decide how to solve the climate crisis with advice from experts. Justice within sustainability framing needs to incorporate equitable distribution of environmental risks of climate change, recognition of communities as unfairly affected, and community-based participation in decision-making. We are unprepared for the danger our future holds. We face floods, wildfires, extreme weather, crop failure, mass displacement, and the breakdown of society. The time for denial is over. The impacts of anthropogenic-induced climate change will not be distributed evenly. There are places where the effects of unsustainable practices are felt more strongly than others. For example, Southern Africa is said to have 45 million people facing hunger across the region due to persistent drought and crop failure, which is exacerbated by the climate crisis. Displays of activism varies across the world, but central to all XR activities is pressuring governments to do better and engaging in more radical tactics. In the UK, 200 XR rebels caused traffic disruptions in May 2021 to encourage the government to start making meaningful change. Two years prior, the government had declared a climate emergency, with the pandemic proving how governments can suspend business as usual to avoid disaster. Yet when it comes to the colossal threat of the climate and ecological crisis, the only action they seem willing to take is to further criminalize protests. XR's actions are aimed at bringing justice to the core of the debate and act with more urgency. Sustainable changes need to be made and representation of the people needs to be implemented in the decision-making process. Moving on, how different organizations and or people frame sustainability is also important. This is because it shows the methods on how people communicate urgency. John Dryzek defines discourse as a shared way of apprehending the world resting on certain assumptions and common terms. According to Dryzek, there are two different dimensions of environmental discourses. The type of end goals classified from reformist to radical and the means of achieving those from prosaic to imaginative. Based on the examples we've already seen throughout, we already know that Extinction Rebellion fits straight into the bottom right under Radical Prosaic. The key to having climate justice and sustainability is spreading knowledge and understanding which allows for transformation. The tactics of XR align with transformative sustainability approaches to change, as centrally to XR's strategy is rebellion. It has been stated by an XR member that conventional approaches of voting, lobbying, petitions, and protests have failed because powerful political and economic interests prevent change. Our strategy is therefore one of non-violent, disruptive, civil disobedience, a rebellion. Topics like this are often intersectional, and the recent Kill the Bill protests have demonstrated this well. Whilst Extinction Rebellion primarily targets environmental injustices, the Kill the Bill protests throughout the UK have been in response to a bill which will allow police to shut down protests. This aligns with a key part of transformation thinking, which would emphasize the role of agency and citizens. It is argued that governments have too much power over their citizens, and XR argues that if we are to have any hope of coping with the emergency, we have to move beyond the politics that have so far held us back and into listening, dialogue, and towards unity and action. Extinction Rebellion does not want to seize power, we want to place power in the hands of citizens. Attention has been brought to the nature of Extinction Rebellion activism. The strategy adopted radical activism, and whilst white people may have the privilege to protest without fearing their lives, BIPOC communities face various levels of injustices and engage more radical forms of activism is far riskier. 
XR have acknowledged that white privilege has enabled the behaviors of some whilst constraining those of others. Justice within XR is a recently established project which is committed to a process of uncovering the systemic agreements that will transform our collective capacity and help us to address our responsibility to confront and unlearn the violence of racism and oppression to work towards our collaboration and powerfulness. This demonstrates the steps being taken to ensure our transformation towards sustainability is also considering important questions about justice, solidarity, and oppression.